Papa loves mambo Mama loves mambo Look at him sway with it Getting so gay with it Shout no lay with it Wow You will be beautiful Oh, thanks Jin, you're beautiful too. Okay, let's better move on from the little gay interaction with a fictional serial killer that has a fetish on number 4. So today, I'm gonna teach you how to play Jin. How could you describe Jin? Hmm, let's say he's special. He thinks killing people makes him an artist and yeah, that is some fucked up lore. Death should never be quick. It should be an opera. But apart from being a psychopath, he's also an arrogant bitch. It's so difficult to work under these conditions. If I get this outfit dirty, I'm going to be so annoyed. The stage is beneath my talent, but I shall elevate it. I mean, dude, come on, don't act like a diva. By the way, the last line is what every fucking bronze player says, and yeah, I know that because I'm a bronze player myself and I have to play with such retards every day. In general, has seen a lot of things in common with your average bronze dude. I mean, he says a lot of smart stuff like, They're gonna live until they die. The only thing that separates him from bronze players is that he ain't talking trash. Why would anyone listen to a creature so ugly? But before you ask, yes, your whole ensemble makes you look fat. Very fat. Wait, is it possible that Jin is in reality a bronze player? I think by now you got that 99.9% .9 of the effort for this video went into the intro. But anyway, it's 2018, so fuck quality content. But let's get back to today's topic, Jin. So, if you watch my videos, you may notice that I personally like to go full movement speed. Why? Well, I'm a brain dead monkey and because it's a hell of fun. I mean, you don't know shit until you played Hackery on speed. And today, we're going to try the same with Jin. His passive is even most important. Since it would take a fucking eternity though to read it, I just explained it here so that even a toddler would get the point. So, whenever Jin crits, he gets bonus movement speed depending on his attack speed. So basically it means we need crit Jin to constantly get bonus movement speed and attack speed stats to buff the bonus movement speed. If there would only be an item in the game that gives us movement speed, crit chance and attack speed. We only got one problem here. We either buy a useful item, like a static shift, which is pretty good on Jin, but only gives us 5% movement speed, or we buy runons, which is god awful on Jin, but gives us 7% movement speed. I feel powerful, look at that auto attack, that build is surely OP. So we just need a dope Jin image, then we just need a cut out Jin, ah oh, fuck that shit, let's search for Jin without background. Perfect. Now give me a spacey background. You get it? Space? Spacey? <laughs> now we need a red outline here, a feathers text there that says that that shit is busted, an image of runons, of course with an outline as well, and some emojis. Don't forget the emojis. Just look at it. It's beautiful. Now we only need ghosts or summon a spell to be a fast as fuck boy, but we need to pretend it was an accident to not get flamed. Perfect. Now we surely can't get hooked by Blitz cause we're just too fast for him. That's gonna be tough to edit. Okay, let's just leave that game behind and play another game to see how that works out. Okay, it's actually pretty depressing that my ghost has literally more kills than me. What the fuck? Okay, that damage is just pure bullshit. Well, you lose some, you win some. Since Portland was not that effective, we're going to try it out top. Okay, Karma, you get into the video, so here you go, you happy now? I hope so. Kevin just doesn't understand that there's no escape from Speedo Chin. Ha! <laughs> that fool. Just give up. There's no point in fighting. My strategy is just superior. Okay, maybe we also won because our trade had 15 kills, the Xi was AFK, and the Cillian bought 6 daggers, but nah, it truly was because I bought Runons. I mean, that's the only logical reason for it. Look at that auto attack, it just looks fabulous. Okay, since top clearly was no challenge for me, we're gonna try it with mid lane this time. I 
I mean, thanks Kauf is running in a straight line, but aren't you supposed to dodge or at least not run straight at me? But hey, you know what's best for you. Oh, now look at them. Shut up Vukong, I got 25 gold from killing your clones so jokes on you. And we totally won because of my power play here. So, after we successfully achieved a glorious victory at mid lane and top lane, we are facing my arch nemesis again, a hook champ at bot lane. Hmm, let's just say my team was holding me back and that it had nothing to do with my bronze performance. The world is just not ready for speed or chin, they just can't handle it. Okay, that's already it. I know this video was more about me commentating my games instead of structuring like a guide. So yeah, leave me your feedback on what you prefer down in the comment section. But anyway, thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.